a CDO officer, I'm actually with the Emergency Ambulance Services. Every week, I will actually report to the station and I'll follow the emergency ambulance and turn up for uh, emergency call, rush to the scene, stabilise the condition and then bring the patient or the victim to the nearest hospital. I like going out for turnouts as uh, each call is different and we gain different experience during the calls. On 9 February, uh, attended to a fire at Riverside Road. Was part of the first turnout crew, which is PR431. Arrived at scene, we set up the water supply, guided the junior firefighters during the operation and assist them. And the firefighting operation lasted till about 6 pm. So basically, I worked together with the regulars to do uh, fire safety checks. We normally go out to do fire safety check in places like uh, industrial park, commercial buildings, uh, f and nightclubs and coffee shops as well. I have this joint operation with the Singapore Police Force, MON and SCTF, whereby I went to Geylang to check on any illegal uh, workers. As CDAU members, also work with the regular small team on like Singapore Police Force together. This really allows me to see more of what we can do. It's a fast check. We also check out for any overcoming of the dormitory. One of the very good experiences I have is that one day I was conducting the courses in our RC Centre and just right after that I received an SMS from one of my ex trainee And she informed me that she just rescued a public in East Coast. Uh, as a CDAU member, I'm a public education instructor. I'm involved with community and at the same time also doing courses for agencies like Tourist Promotion Board to train their uh, tourist guide. I uh, bring them around. I have to spend about 10 to 15 minutes at one spot to explain to them. Make sure that they understand and they will, they will bring back these uh, memories of their visiting. For the overseas firefighters, differently, they are firefighters. When they come here, the question that they throw at you is different from the local. <laughs> they talk more about their, their, the structures that they uh, confront in their countries. And they wanted to compare with us. What are the requirements we have in the fire sector? All right, EPD itself is a, is a planning uh, involving the residents, the community, and also civil defense. That's where we discuss it. As a CIO officer, we actually go down for the meeting and actually discuss with the grassroots leaders what is the expectation. The experience that I had was uh, at the end of the exercise, they actually saw the relationship between what they learned in the classroom and what they actually did in the field. I wish to thank uh, Captain Pandi and WO Yunus, who are members of CDAU, for their passion and contribution that make this gallery a place worth visiting. On behalf of SCDF, thank you for so much of your time serving together with us. Thank you for risking your lives, and we look forward to work together uh, continually with you guys. Thank you. I'd like to thank our CDAU paramedics and medical orderlies for lending us their time and giving us assistance in providing free hospital care to our patients. Dear CDAU enforcement officers, thank you for your commitment and dedication shown throughout the past year. Your contribution has certainly been appreciated by all within the SCDF family. 
I hereby take this opportunity to thank you and wish you all the best in the future work as a CDAU Enforcement Officer. Okay, on behalf of Second Div, I'd like to say thank you to our volunteers. You guys are truly amazing. Know that in times of need, when we need extra help, we can always count on you. And we hope that you'll continue to volunteer your services and be part of our big family. Thank you. CDU officers from 3rd Division, as in other SCDF units, are very much part of the family of the life-saving force. I've seen them in action, be it as a fire and rescue specialist, or medic, or public education instructor. Our CDU officers are as committed and passionate as any SCDF officer. To the men and women of CDAU, thank you. Thank you for sacrificing your time and volunteering to the noble cause of saving life and property. And may you continue to shine. I can never thank my CDAU members enough. The pride you showed in executing your duties speaks volume of how big a heart you have in helping as part of our life-saving force. I'm most touched when you also volunteered your services in our CDAU recruitment drives to bring in like-minded people to follow in your footsteps. We have admirable father and daughter, husband and wife teams in CDAU. This goes to show that CDAU volunteerism is becoming a family affair for some. Hopefully, more to come. Well done, my fellow CDAU members. May we stay bonded and grow together.